video, we complete the installation of F5 Big IP on VMware. In today's video, we will see the uh, we will complete the setup utility and licensing. Click on next. Here it's saying no license is activated. To activate the license, copy the license key which you got on your register mail ID. This is the mail where you get the license key. Copy the key. Go to F5. Click on activate. Copy the license key in this column. Base registration key. Under the activation method, I will select the manual one. Click on next. And under the step first, here you get the dossier. Select entire dossier and copy copy the dossier. Under the step two, you can see here. Click here to access F5 licensing server. Click on it. It will redirect you to F5 site. Here you will have to paste the dossier. Click on next. Select I have read and agree the terms of the license. You can down you can simply download the license. Uh, it will download the license in text file or else you can simply mark all the license and copy it then again come to the fi uh, fi load balancer paste that license in under the step 3 then click on next it will, it will take few minutes to complete the configuration it will take few minutes to activate the license on your machine if you see the band, it's changing. Click on continue. The configuration for this device has been updated. Consequently, the features and functionality previously available on Big IP might be changed. Click on continue. Basically, uh, there are uh, on FI Big IP there are two uh, operating system works. One for management and second for uh, TMM. Uh, TMM stand for Traffic Management Microkernel. Okay, so each resource are allocated uh, for both the uh, OS. So 89% of CPU uh, is allocated for TMM, as we can see. Uh, under the disk, uh, entire disk space is uh, allocated for management only. In memory, you can see I'm having 2 GB of RAM. Out of 2 GB, 1596 MB of RAM is allocated for uh, management OS. And remaining 326 of MB RAM is allocated for TMM OS. So here all the models you can see which models you can activate on this machine. If you go to license, you can see here license type is evaluation type. Licensing license date is 28 September 2018. License expiration date is December 28, 2018. 18. These are the models activated with this license key. Click on next. So again, same page you will get here. Uh, in this uh, series, we are going to con uh, concentrate on local traffic manager only. 
so it's already selected here you can see license license which module is licensed and which module is unlicensed all the information you will get to see here IRL is licensed AFM is licensed if you want to enable GTM see I selected GTM but it allocates the memory for it 148 MB of RAM it will allocate if you select another one it will again allocate 148 you can change it to nom uh, nominal to minimum to dedicated I will keep it nominal let's go for next step may restart the demons reboot the system okay it's uh, asking to reboot the system are you sure want to proceed okay click on continue Okay, it's continuously prompting us reboot is required okay we will reboot the system Okay, our big IP machine is rebooted. So we have activated the license on machine. Let's see the change. What you observe? Can you see the changes? It's saying root at the rate local host active license is activated. So that's why it's saying active. And uh, its current status is standalone. We are not using it in redundancy. That's why it's staying, uh, saying standalone. Let's go back to web GUI. Last time we were here. Select the LTM and click on next. Okay. Click on continue. giving some information general properties name server certificate subject local host local domain my company so again you you can here change here management IP if you want to change it to another so I'm not giving any default gateway I'll give the name here can change the time zone it 
to select the Indian timing you can select this one Asia Calcutta if you want to disable the login you can check mark here default root you can uh, uh, here you get the option to change the password of your root, root account it will change your CLI password and this will change your web GUI password if you want to change you can change it I will keep it default admin admin click on next since you have updated your password you will be logged out and must log in again okay okay host name must be a full qualified dns name okay password does not match okay okay login again so we are at network step click on next so I'll uncheck both the option click on next so it's asking for self IP internal IP so we will set it to as per our topology that is internal IP it's 10.1.1.100 root lockdown default so we will select for internal we will select 1.2 select untag ok interface 1.2 with untag click on next then this is the external vlan configuration we will Give the IP 172.16.1.100 netmask 255.255.255.2.0 port lockdown none then it's external select one with untagged click on next click on finish so here your setup utility completed and after the completion of setup utility you get all these options network system device management acceleration local traffic manager SSL DNS IMAP in this video we will see for FI load balancer. In the next video, we will see how to set up web server for FI labs. If you are having any doubts, if you are having any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Subscribe the channel to stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye bye.